This video will demonstrate the proper methods for sounding concrete for delaminations. A discussion of the causes of delamination can be found in the Structure Rehabilitation Self-Study Manual. Delamination is the detachment of the top layer of concrete above the rebar. While this will eventually produce a pothole, in the early stages there may be no visual indication of the problem. For this reason, it is necessary to sound the concrete on rehabilitation projects. There are three tools most commonly used in sounding concrete, a drag chain, sounding rod, and hammer. The best choice for sounding flat work, such as decks and slabs, is the drag chain. Drag chains consist of sounding rod steel roughly shaped in an eye pattern with heavy chains welded to the lower crossbar. Chains should be about a foot long and the handle length long enough so that the inspector does not have to stoop to sound the deck. The drag chain makes a more pronounced sound, especially on delaminations in the early stages, than sounding rods and hammers. That being said, the drag chain has some drawbacks. It is not practical for use on vertical surfaces or confined spaces such as caps. It also may be difficult to hear in noisy environments such as besides heavy traffic or running equipment. In cases where the chain cannot be heard clearly and large areas are to be sounded, the sounding rod may be used. Half inch sounding rods can be found on inventory. The sounding rod can be used standing upright and large areas can be sounded fairly quickly, but the sound produced is not as distinct as the drag chain. Hammers are the best choice for vertical surfaces such as columns and cap faces, or in confined spaces such as the top of caps. When using sounding rods and hammers, it may also be useful to have some sand, screenings, or other granular material, as will be shown later in the video. When sounding with the drag chain, the chains are swept back and forth across the deck surface. A grid pattern should be used so that the entire surface is covered. When unsound areas are found, the chain should be dragged back and forth in two directions to delineate the area to be repaired. This is an area of sound concrete. You can tell the difference in it and this area of delaminated concrete. This is a delaminated area being sounded with the sounding rod. And this is sound concrete. And then another area of delamination around this little hole. The last method discussed is the hammer. The principle is the same as the sounding rod, but the inspector must kneel or bend over to sound the deck. Notice the rock jumping around at the edge of the pothole. In situations where the inspector is having difficulty hearing or trouble distinguishing sound concrete from delaminated, it may be useful to spread a granular material over the area in question. In this example, I scooped up sand from the gutter line of the deck and spread it over a questionable area. Just as a small rock was jumping around the edge of the pothole in a previous clip, sand on the delaminated section will jump when the delamination is struck. Delaminated areas should be marked with paint. A rectangular box slightly larger than the delaminated area is used. After the contractor has removed the selected area, the borders and interior should be sanded again to ensure all unsound concrete has been removed. If you have questions about this or other structure related topics, please contact your Airy Bridge Construction Engineer.